again this is Aish Jushi and I am here with you on the channel of Achieve IS. So here today we are going to discuss about ethanol blending. What is ethanol blending and how it works and why we are discussing it today. We are going to go through all these questions. Okay. And the biggest question in front of us is it is the best alternative fuel for India or not. Okay. So let's have a look towards it. So basically what is it and why we are going to discuss about it because we are going to connect the petrol we are going to blend the pen petrol with ethanol okay so why we are going to do this and all these things are here in front of you india oil indian oil to set up new 2g plant so indian oil is going to start a new plant in panipat by 11th november 2019 that is a 2g ethanol plant and uh, the Indian Oil Corporation recently received environment clearance from Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. So the permission was given by Environment, Forest and Climate Change Department and this ministry gave the clearance to start a new 2G ethanol plant. Okay, this plant is set, going to set up in Panipat and India will invest Rs. 766 crores in setting up the plant. So here till now we have studied about what is basically ethanol planting i mean why uh, we are discussing it and uh, who gave the clearance about it and what is basically the amount to invest on it okay so uh, these three questions have three answers that is it is uh, recently uh, indian oil is going to set up the new 2g plant and a 2G ethanol plant and that is in Panipat by November 11, 2019 and who gave the clearance? Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change gave the clearance to this setup. Okay, the next thing is the India is going to uh, invest some amount and what is the amount behind this? That is 766 crore rupees. So let's take highlights about it. The ethanol produced in the plant will be exclusively used to blend transportation fuels. The project also aims to doubling farmers income. So basically let me know you one thing. Ethanol is uh, the biofuel. We can say it biofuel. Okay, Jev Indhan ka kaam karta hai ye what it is it can be used it can be manufactured biofuel can be manufactured as the uh, sugar sugar cane okay sugar cane juice sugar these are the main sources of it okay so by this ethanol production or ethanol plant we are going to uh, you know the ethanol produced in the plant will be exclusively used to plant transportation of fuels so this is the target of india to uh, achieve this target and we are going to discuss about this target that what is the target about it so the project the aim of project is to double the farmers income farmers are uh, you know what will happen we need sugarcane juice for ethanol okay and for ethanol blending we need we need if we need sugarcane then we have to go through farmers for sugarcane purchase and if we will go through farmers for sugarcane then that will definitely uh, reduce the uh, uh, we can say import and we will go through the productions i mean farmers will uh, increase the production of sugarcane by this and government is going to uh, purchase it so what is happening government is going to purchase this type of pr uh, production or these type of sugar canes the all these sugar canes so by purchasing these sugar canes we are going income we are giving income we are going to produce or we are going to double the farmers income this is the basic feature or basic target of government or project of it okay so the next is what is the significance about this the government is trying to uh, trying in every way to reduce the dependence on petroleum products like petrol and diesel the government of india recently notified that no environment clearance will required for sugar mill to produce more ethanol for sugarcane juice basically what is happening the uh, increasing pollution increasing uh, you know lack of petroleum products is a big 
issue in front of us so for that government of india and uh, the concerned department decided to go through the ethanol blending and by this uh, procedure or by this feature we can definitely go through the good environment that this will affect the environment positively and definitely it will also reduce the uh, our issues or our tension regarding petroleum products okay so ethanol as fuel ethanol is most often used as mot motor fuel it is predominantly used as a biofuel additive for gasoline so as you can see it is used for the gasoline biofuel product it is a biofuel product brazil was the first country to produce ethanol run car okay the f the first pr pr uh, country who produced the bio it biofuel or ethanol run car that was brazil okay the first ethanol run car or vehicle in the world was produced by brazil that was in 1978 so it is important for prelims point of view or we can say mains as well as okay so brazil was the first country who produced the first ethanol based car or ethanol based vehicle in 1978 okay now ethanol uh, ethanol in india what is the uh, procedure and what is the structure of ethanol in india india initiated the use of ethanol as a fuel in 2003 basically we started it in 2003 that we are going to use ethanol as our fuel okay biofuel india began its journey with e5 fuel yeah we have to learn through this india started our journey with uh, in the field of ethanol that is with e5 fuel which uses 5% ethanol and 95% of diesel in 2006 india began its second phase of e10 biofuel which consists of 10% ethanol and 90% diesel you can see continuously we are upgrading ourselves in the field of ethanol blending okay in 2006 to 2003 it was half i mean e5 fuel was running at that time it means 95% of diesel and 5% of ethanol but in 2006 we increased this amount we grow up stair okay what was that we used we started using the second phase that is e10 biofuel which consists of 10% ethanol and 90% of diesel okay so what when we were using 5% and in just 3 years we double this ratio we double this rate okay rate of using biodiesel or biofuel india is yet to launch e15 officially however the e15 outlets have grown from 180 in the year 2016 to 394 okay 180 to 394 it is such a huge amount that we are going to uh, say that it is important point for exam point of view it is we can say it is an important point for exams so it how much it grows e15 it goes through 180 to 394 in the 2016 indian government has set a target of 22.5% so what is the target of indian government it is of 22.5% okay now in november 2019 iocl hpcl and bpcl announced that they are investing 586 million usd to achieve the target how much they are going to um invest that is 586 million okay around 7 ethanol producing units will be launched according to the plan while other countries have entered the euro 100 100 euros okay india is just putting its baby step towards biofuel it means we are just on e15 and we are targeted uh, targeting of e22.5 or e25 approx but still we are very very low in this uh, in this uh, particular section or we can say in this using of biofuel the reason behind this that we are technologically not upgraded ourselves till date okay so but hopefully we are going through development as 
uh, fast as we can go so uh, we can uh, hope so that uh, as soon as possible we will go through the 100% also but it will yeah it will take some time but we have to give the efforts here however the potential is huge according to the IEA it means Interna international energy agency around 25% of world energy demand will come via India in 2040 it means by 2040 we are going to increase it by 25% now we are here with E15 I mean 15% of it but still we can say that 2040 and this is not our ratio or our potential it is all about it is said by the IEA it means international energy agency as we are going right now we can say by 2040 we can go through 25 percent but we have to prove that we can go beyond this for that we have to give our best and for that we have to create an atmosphere of uh, eco-friendly or something like that so that people can be aware about it and we can give more efforts on it okay so it was the it was all about ethanol in India or ethanol blending basically ethanol blending is all about the merging or blending of ethanol with petrol so that petrol the use of petroleum products or you can we can say the use of petrol diesel can be reduced and ethanol that is not harmful for us can produce the or can increase the an uh, eco-friendly environment or it can create a good atmosphere at all so we hope we can go best and we can go through it and we can give our best in this particular area and uh, hope we are going good so thanks a lot this was me Ayushi Joshi hope I'll get a new course in with you and uh, as soon as possible bye bye take care